Okay, we are all set up here. I've got the chum bag out. Just gonna see if I can grab some bait and see what we can do. Um, just on fishing on one of the outlets on the Gulf side, uh, just right on the edge, just before it starts getting into that darker green water there. Uh, these are all ballyhoo. That's supposedly about the only place I could find ballyhoo. So I'm gonna probably keep some of these for some uh, frozen bait, trolling bait. But otherwise I'm gonna catch a, hopefully catch a couple of live ballyhoo, put those out and then uh, see what comes around. Got my little number 12 long shank hook. Put a little squid on there and just drift it back with the chum. So I'm just gonna nose hook them right through the top of the head there. And we're just gonna let that guy free swim. See what happens to him. Something's smashing it. shaker. Ugh, don't be a shark. Uh, it's like a one of the mackerels or a king. Go over that line. Go over it. One of the max. Zero maybe. Ah, nice zero. Nice. I just might keep this guy. Good top water here. a little bit of Ciro mackerel sushi so let's give it a shot this Ciro mackerel was 32 inches so let's go ahead and clean it up here real quick
right, here's the fillets after an overnight of brining. Uh, I just did a five to six part brown sugar to one part salt. Uh, no liquids, just um, did a layer of the salt sugar mixture, then the fish, and a layer of salt sugar mixture, and then the fish, then a layer of salt sugar. Uh, just a light coating over the entire thing. Uh, then uh, just put it in the refrigerator covered and just let it let the salt basically pull out all the fluids and that's what you see there and now it's ready to uh, go on the smoker I'm going to be doing a uh, moderate heat smoke slash barbecue I'm not going to do a long smoke on these and uh, go from there Bam. So we've got that fresh caught Ciro mackerel. Originally the plan was to do a catch and cook, another catch and cook sushi version, but uh, there's no Nordi the seaweed wrap anywhere in Key West. I mean, I checked everywhere and that really screwed me up. But then I figured, ah, what the heck, let's go Vietnamese style. So with no sushi, I went ahead and got these Vietnamese spring roll rice wrappers here. And we're just gonna do some Vietnamese spring rolls using the uh, Ciro mackerel. Okay, let's go over a quick ingredients list. Of course, we've got the spring rolled rice wrappers. Uh, I've got some vermicelli style noodles. They're not the like Italian pasta style. These are like real fine rice noodles that you'll find in the oriental section. We've got some mint, some chives. I chopped up a little bit of cucumber, some lettuce leaves. I've got the cereal mackerel that I did uh, sushi style, but I also diced some up that I'm going to use in the wrap. I have a tub full of water for dipping the uh, spring roll wrappers. And then I also have peanut satay sauce, as well as some hoisin sauce that I'm going to utilize. And over here I've got some of the sushi rice I made up planning to do the sushi, but I'm going to do something different with it. That and the uh, smoke zero. I'm going to do something separate. So anyways, that is the basic ingredients. So I'll, let's put this together. All right, let's get a spring roll assembled here. So you start off with these wafer rice paper. It's a, like plastic at the beginning. You're going to dip it in the water, submerge it, and then just shake it off lay it down on the flat surface and then it's going to start to gelatinize so you kind of need to work a little bit expediently get your ingredients in roll it up and then it'll be real sticky so at that point it's sealed up so let's go ahead and do this I'm going to dip it in there submerge it entirely take it out shake it off put it on our board start loading it up with some ingredients Okay, once we've got that, I'm going to do a couple of chives on the outside so it kind of sticks out a bit. Okay, it should be starting to get sticky there. Start your wrap, fold over the side. I want this sticking out a bit. Fold over this side. And then you want to kind of do like a tight roll, being careful not to tear the wrap. And there you go. Our first spring roll is done. So you can, it's kind of uh, clear so you can see the meat. So you kind of want to roll it in a, a line of different ingredients so that you're able to see what's inside there. And our first one's done. So let me do a couple more here real quick.
So I had the uh, sushi rice already made, as well as the smoked uh, cereal. So I figured I'll go ahead and do something with that, even though I don't have the nori. So I'm gonna kind of make um, Hawaiian-style spam balls, but with uh, smoked siro. Again, minus the nori, because Key West does not have any. So I'm just gonna make a few of these. Okay, and all we're going to do is drop a little bit of these smoked cereal on here. And we'll do a little side piece so you can kind of see what it looks like there. All right, and that's gonna be kind of the basics there. So let me go ahead and plate this up and uh, finish it off and then you can check it out. All right, got it all plated up here. So what we've got is some um, Vietnamese style spring rolls. Uh, typically they would come with shrimp or boiled pork, or you can they would come just straight vegetarian. I had that at the restaurants and they would just bring out a whole platter full of different veggies and then you can just make your own. Uh, then I've got the sort of uh, span balls, but I guess they're smoked zero mackerel balls now. Just made up with some sushi rice, the smoke uh, zero, and then a few uh, chives on top there. Uh, I did have some leftover raw zero mackerel, so I just sashi meat it up and just have a typical side dish there. And on the side over here, we've got some peanut satay sauce that I'm going to dip the spring rolls in. And I do like the hoisin sauce just in general, so I'll be dipping them with that as well. Uh, remember the ingredients for the spring rolls are basically the uh, Vietnamese style spring roll wrappers. Then I went with the raw cereal mackerel. There's iceberg lettuce, mint, chives, and then also the vermicelli style noodles. Not the Italian pasta kind, but more the real thin rice style, Asian style uh, noodles. So anyways, that is what's for dinner. Okay, so I've been kind of neglecting my watch me eat freaks out there. So uh, I'll go ahead and devour a couple of these. We'll start with the spring rolls. I'm actually looking forward to this part of it. So got a nice beautiful spring rolls there. Use some satay sauce. Mm. Oh, on my way to healthiness, just eating this, man, I can feel the veggies coursing through my body. <laughs> but the flavors that really stand out are the mint. It's got this kind of a sharp flavor to it. And oddly enough, the uh, noodles, I don't know, maybe that's just the texture. But, and of course, the peanut sauce is always good on everything. I'm, I haven't eaten anything this healthy in a long time. Mm. I mean, talk about fresh. Even with the fish, just bring fish caught. All right, then we've got our zero macro balls. Mm. Love the hoisin sauce. But yeah, that smoked zero. I already actually had two pieces of the zero macro smoke one, so I know that's delicious already.
Mm. What a flavor matchup. This is such a good balanced meal. Mm -hmm. I could probably get a dozen of these and be happy. The Cyril Mackerel Sushi Sashimi is so perfectly matched with it because it's such a light tasting fish. But you definitely get that zing from the mint. Mmm. Yeah, perfect. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I'm going to finish scarfing down these in the next three minutes. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.